It is Greg Milby, Community Storyteller for Kentucky's Heartland, and we are in beautiful Bargetown right here at uh, the Stephen Foster Story. Johnny Warren is with me. He is, he's the boss daddy. He's the man. Uh, what is your official title here? Executive Artistic Director of the Stephen Foster Drama Association. I like boss man. That's a little shorter on the business card. That's right. So let's talk about Stephen Foster Story. For a lot of folks in this region, this is a, a tradition. Not only, I mean, every year tradition. What? What makes this a tradition for so many families? Well, there are a handful of things that cause people to come back to experience the Stephen Foster story. One of them is the fact that it has been going for 63 years. So it's an event that you, that someone could have seen as a child and can come back and bring their child and then bring their grandchild and then even another generation now uh, and have the same experience and uh, create the same memories that you remember your first experience in the show. That's rare in our culture today. It's something we take great pride in and it's part of what brings people back. And it's such a beautiful venue. It's nestled over here and I, I just, there's something special about even the venue itself. How, is this the original venue? It is, it is. It's the original spot, um, which was carefully and particularly chosen, knowing that a musical was gonna be performed here. So it's in a natural bowl, so acoustically um, it was chosen and, and designed for that. Though now we use microphones, uh, there's still that sense that the music fills the air and fills the space. Um, of course, surrounded by trees, uh, beautiful music under the starlight, and uh, just a really incredible story that encompasses so many aspects of our culture and our life. It's about communities come together, coming together. It's about telling stories um, about the past that are as relevant today as ever. All right, so uh, the cast, the cast is, it's, it's a large cast. It is. And it's not it just, it's not local folks. It's, it's yeah. a little bit of anything and everything, right? It, it is. We have, a, a, we have 50 people in the cast um, and a dog. There's a dog in the show as well. And that cast is made up of a combination of local and regional actors, and, and some of them are retired from arts jobs, whether they're arts educators or some other uh, career in the arts, uh, or they have totally different careers, um, but they love to sing or studied music uh, at some point in their life, um, paired with professional performers who are performing for a career uh, or are studying in university programs across the country uh, to be uh, performers. And so mm. this cast is a combination of, of those. And it, the, the age range is also extreme. We have um, a wide, wide range of, of ages and um, backgrounds and experience levels. It's really an awesome community of artists mm. that we bring together every year. All right, so let's talk about the run. So we are in the yeah. midst of the run right the of middle. the Stephen Foster story. So uh, right. if somebody has not been here, yeah. give, it, give us the lowdown. What are tickets, when are the shows, mm -hmm. and all that detail? Sure, yeah, you still have several opportunities. Um, our schedule for the Stephen Foster story is that it plays in the evenings at 8 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night through August 13th. So still a few weeks to weekends to catch the show. Uh, we also have uh, a new, last year, still feels new to us, uh, two o'clock Saturday matinee performance called Songs of Stephen Foster. And it's not the Stephen Foster story. Uh, it's a different take on much of the same music, but some new songs as well. It's an hour long production uh, that happens indoors and in the air conditioning and tickets for Songs of Stephen Foster and Stephen Foster Story out here at the beautiful amphitheater are available at stephenfoster.com or by calling the box office at 1-800-626-1563. All right, all that information is on the screen as well. And I gotta tell you, you know, everybody talks about the heat. That's the topic anywhere and everywhere is the weather, right? right? Um, you would think as hot as it has been here that this place would be scorching hot. And yeah. I'm, I'm going to be 100% honest. One, the sun is behind us over here. Uh, and the whole seating area yeah. is already covered with shade before we get close to the showtime. And it is not anywhere it's as not. hot <laughs> right where we're standing right it's now not. as it is out there in the open. So uh, don't let the heat scare you away because it really is comfortable. That's here. right. We also have cool drinks available. We have hand fans um, that we have available. And really, 
the venue is shaded for hours before showtime, and so it really is perfectly comfortable uh, nearly every night. And today is one of those scorching hot days. Mm -hmm. um, and like you said, even now, it's perfectly comfortable here. I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. where we're standing yeah. right now. All right, well, I, thank you for the time and, and, and uh, the opportunity to come and just Absolutely. talk about the Stephen Foster story, what it means to our area and, and the history behind it. Uh, it's great to get the executive view. That's right. But we're gonna get some cast member views too. You are, and okay. I can't wait for you to talk to them. All right, he's Johnny Warren. Right here at the Stephen Foster Story, I'm Greg Milby. We're going to come back in just a second. We're going to talk to a couple cast members. This is Kentucky's Heartland. All right, as I mentioned, we are back. Stephen Foster Story, beautiful Bardstown, Kentucky. That there is Mason right there. There is Jordan. Mason, proud of Commonwealth of Kentucky. Jordan is from a whole other country. He is from New Jersey. All right, good deal. Well, uh, well, first of all, thank you guys for taking time to chat with us uh, on this hot day, uh, it, it dressed up, which I know it's got to be rough, but, you know, Johnny and I were talking beforehand. It's really not as hot as you would expect it to be with the temperatures outside. Would you agree, Jordan? Uh, yeah, I mean, by the time we start the show, it's already cooling down. The sun is off of us at that point, mm -hmm. and then it's just kind of like the nightly breeze. So it's really just the humidity that we deal with. Mm -hmm. All right, so how many years have you been in this show, Mason? This is my sixth summer in the show. Awesome. Jordan, you? And this is my second summer. Okay, so I I explain to me, what's the draw behind doing this show? One, for six years, and you're coming back for two. What's, what, why, why did you decide to make this something that you're a part of? Well, uh, starting your first summer, you realize right away this is such a family-oriented atmosphere. I mean, you come to know and love every single person in the cast. You really become attached to them and the show. And uh, you get very nostalgic the, the moment you leave, and, and you're thinking, when can I come back, uh, is what you're thinking. when you After you leave your first summer, you want to come right back for that second summer. Next thing you know, you've been here for six years. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jordan, what about you? I mean, you're two from New Jersey. Kentucky's a little bit different from New Jersey. What's the draw? Uh, for me, the area is definitely different from what I'm used to, and coming down here was definitely a shift that I had to adjust to, um, but everyone here definitely made it so much easier. Um, they're very, like you said, it's very much family-oriented here. Um, the show is, it's an experience like no other, um, and just kind of longing for that. Once I left, I was like, okay, I, I get it. I want to come back. I might as well just come back. So it's, it's, it's nostalgic. Yeah. Okay, so how long are the songs stuck in your head after the season is over with? <laughs> All year. <Yeah. laughs> All year. You can't get it out, Mason? They don't leave. <laughs> okay, I always like to ask people that are singers. So, one, before I ask that question, when people come to the Stephen Foster story, Mason, what are they seeing you do? Who are you in the show? So I play several ensemble roles in the show, uh, small feature roles. Um, I play uh, Joseph P. Murphy. I play Mr. Bones in the Minstrel Show, and I play um, uh, various other understudy roles. Uh, but usually you'll just see me in the ensemble in the background. If you squint hard enough, uh, <laughs> you'll see me around there. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Jordan, what about you? I play Joe Wickens, and I'm a feature dancer. A feature dancer? Yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's good on the resume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely helps, and it's good ballet training. So what's your favorite part of the show? If you had to pick one thing of the Stephen Foster story, whether it's in the show, before the show, after the show, what is your favorite part of the show itself? For me, uh, my favorite part is Old Dog Trey. It's uh, the most random number in the show. Plot-wise, it makes no sense, but they just can't take it out because it's the one scene in the show where they bring a dog on stage. Uh, it's a beagle named Cooper, and he's the most precious dog in the world, and they sing a little song about him, and they walk off stage, and that's it, and it's just the most perfect song in the whole world. I love it. <laughs> awesome. What about you, Jordan? Uh, for me, it would have to be in Gussie Jordan's Tavern oh, yeah. for uh, the song Shanghai Chicken. It's only six people that sing that song, but if you're anywhere backstage, you'll pretty much hear everybody singing that song. It's just one of those numbers. <laughs> That is awesome. Now, I have done interviews with multiple artists over the years doing radio and I always ask the question, if you're listening to something else, what are you listening to? Now, you guys, you can't sing the Stephen Foster story songs all the time, right? So, Jordan, what is on your playlist? Who do you listen to all the time? Um, who is a very wide question. Um, I listen to a lot of genres, but mainly R&B and jazz. Good deal. What about you, Mason? I'm on a bit of a heavy metal kick right now. I just started listening to some Black Sabbath. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a big <laughs> difference from the Stephen Foster story. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, I've got one stuck in my head right now. I can't get it out. <laughs> there you go. So maybe that's a twist that'll happen soon. It'll be it'll be a, kind of a tribute to the Stephen Foster story in heavy metal. The Ozzy Osbourne story. Yeah, the Ozzy Osbourne. Well, then you don't have to remember lines. You just mumble for a couple of hours, and you're good to go. All right, Stephen Foster's story in Bardstown going on. It's beautiful. We, we mentioned that earlier with Johnny. The, the venue is, place, uh, is, is, a, is a great place, uh, and, and folks like this is what put the show together and make this show happen. This is Jordan all the way, all the way from New Jersey and just across the corner here. It's Mason from Kentucky. I'm Greg, and I'm a part of Kentucky's Heartland, and we appreciate you joining us. Thank you.